For so many premature babies and their families, tomorrow is goal number one. And at Oni Biotech, it's our goal too. That's because we make InfoSurf, a natural surfactant that's been helping babies breathe since 1998. InfoSurf restores surface activity in the lungs and improves respiration in children with respiratory distress syndrome. The key material in InfoSurf is natural lung surfactant extract. At Oni Biotech, we purify calf lung surfactant so it can be given to newborn babies who've not yet made enough of their own surfactant. InfoSurf is indicated for the prevention of respiratory distress syndrome, RDS, in premature infants at high risk for RDS and for the treatment and or rescue of premature infants who develop RDS. InfoSurf decreases the incidence of RDS, mortality of RDS, and air leaks associated with RDS. Prophylaxis therapy at birth with InfoSurf is indicated for premature infants less than 29 weeks gestational age at significant risk for RDS. InfoSurf prophylaxis should be administered as soon as possible, preferably within 30 minutes after birth. InfoSurf therapy is indicated for infants less than or equal to 72 hours of age with RDS, confirmed by clinical and radiologic findings and requiring endotracheal intubation. This is how InfoSurf is made. Calf lungs that would otherwise be discarded are delivered for processing. Upon arrival at our production facility, each and every lung is individually inspected for quality assurance. Once a lung passes our rigorous tests, technicians prepare the lungs by securing a cannula into the trachea so the natural lung surfactant can be removed. Technicians fill the lungs with saline through the cannula, making sure it's fully and evenly filled. The saline is then removed from the lung by gentle suction. The lavage liquid is centrifuged at a high speed, leaving behind the natural surfactant as a paste. The liquid saline is then discarded. The natural surfactant paste is then subjected to an extraction procedure, by which the active molecules of the surfactant are separated from any non-surfactant molecules that may have also been in the inside of the lung, such as mucus. Following extraction, the surfactant molecules are dissolved in a liquid. At this stage, it is calf lung surfactant extract, known as CLSE for short. Every batch of CLSE is tested to ensure all of the surfactant materials are present in the proper proportions and that virtually no lung tissue materials are present. The ratio of DPPC to SPB in natural surfactant is maintained in CLSE. The amount of cholesterols in relation to the phospholipid content of natural surfactant is also maintained. After a batch of CLSE passes testing, the dissolved calf lung surfactant extract is recovered from the liquid via evaporation. The calf lung surfactant extract is then suspended, not dissolved, in sterile saline and officially becomes InfoSurf. But before being released for packaging, it must pass 23 quality control tests. After vials have been filled and sealed, the InfoSurf is heat treated to ensure sterility. Scientific testing of InfoSurf on the lab bench and in biologic systems confirms that InfoSurf is very similar to natural surfactant in both composition and activity. InfoSurf has shown to produce rapid and sustained improvement in the breathing of newborns who are at high risk for or already suffering from respiratory failure due to lung surfactant deficiency. When it comes to taking care of a baby with respiratory distress syndrome, InfoSurf is there to help turn today into tomorrow.
Important safety information. Warnings. InfoSurf is intended for intratracheal use only. Following administration of InfoSurf, patients should be carefully monitored so that oxygen therapy and ventilatory support can be modified in response to changes in respiratory status. InfoSurf therapy is not a substitute for neonatal intensive care. Optimal care of premature infants at risk for RDS and newborn infants with RDS who need endotracheal intubation requires an acute care unit organized, staffed, and equipped, and experienced with intubation, ventilator management, and general care of these patients. Transient episodes of endotracheal tube reflux, cyanosis, bradycardia, and airway obstruction have occurred, which require stopping InfoSurf administration and taking appropriate measures to alleviate the condition. Precautions. An increased proportion of patients with both intraventricular hemorrhage, IVH, and paraventricular leukomalacia, PVL, was observed in InfoSurf treated in the InfoSurf ExoSurf neonatal controlled trials. This did not occur in the InfoSurf Cervanta trials. Common complications of prematurity and RDS in controlled trials. The incidence of other common complications of prematurity, apnea, patent ductus arteriosus, intracranial hemorrhage, severe intracranial hemorrhage, sepsis, pulmonary air leaks, pulmonary interstitial emphysema, pulmonary hemorrhage, and necrotizing enterocolitis were similar in InfoSurf treated and the active control treated patients. Common adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions associated with InfoSurf dosing procedures in the controlled trials were cyanosis, airway obstruction, bradycardia, reflux of surfactant into the endotracheal tube, requirement for manual ventilation, and reintubation. To learn more about Oni Biotech and about InfoSurf, visit InfoSurf.com.